Here we're going to calculate the circulation around an infinitesimal circle. The circulation is this quantity gamma right here, uh, which is a line integral of a vector quantity u dotted with dr. dr is this little green thing right here, which is uh, an incremental distance around the circle. We're working with uh, a u that is written as uh, two components, u and v, and a position vector r that has components x and y. And we'll also think about this in polar coordinates, where x is r cos theta and y is r sine theta. So here's our circle with the position vector r. And the position vector r is at an angle theta from the x-axis. And as we move the position by an increment dr, the little green vector, we increase the angle theta by an increment d theta. So after we've moved by this little increment, then the new position vector is r evaluated at theta plus d theta. And the red vector minus the blue vector is the little green vector. So let's go ahead and write out an expression for what dr is. Let's uh, do it in green. How about that green? Uh, dr is r at theta plus d theta. That's the red vector minus r at theta. That's the blue vector. Okay, and this is just a small difference. We can rewrite it uh, as the derivative dr by d theta times the differential of theta, d theta. Okay, so that's just using the definition of the derivative. And um, now using the definition of r, that's uh, this right here, we can rewrite dr by d theta as minus r sine theta, because minus sine theta is the derivative of cos theta, and the other component is positive r cos theta. That's just differentiating the, uh, the sine theta here. And then we have the differential d theta. Okay, so now we've got, we've got one of the, the uh, quantities that we need for the integrand. We've got dr, and now we need to dot it with u, which is this quantity right here. So, uh, let's see, we'll write u dot dr. Is, well, we can take out the common factor r and write r negative u sine theta plus v cos theta d theta. So that's the dot product of u, this quantity right here, with dr, this quantity here. All right, and there's our integrand. Now the next thing we need to do is to come up with a way to write u and v. We need to write these things as functions of x and y, or r and theta, or something like that, before we can do any integrating. To do that, we'll take advantage of our assumption that this is a very small circle and use Taylor series expansion. So the Taylor series expansions will look like this. We'll expand about the origin, so it will be u equals u naught, that's the value of u at the origin, plus a term du naught by dx times x, plus another term uh, du naught by dy times y.
So u naught x and u naught y are just constants, and they're equal to the partial derivatives of u with respect to x and y at the origin. Now in polar coordinates, we can also write x and y in terms of r and theta. So we'd have u naught plus u naught x r cos theta plus u naught y r sine theta. Okay, and similarly, we would have a Taylor series expansion for v, which will look like this. v equals v naught, the value of v at the origin, plus a partial derivative, um, that wasn't very good, v naught x r cos theta, so that's dv naught pi dx times x, plus dv naught pi dy times y, or v naught y times r sine theta. Great. So now we have expressions in terms of r and theta that we can try to integrate. Now remember, we had this expression here for the integrand u dot dr, and now we can plug in our Taylor series expansions for u and for v, and uh, we'll get the following. Gamma equals, it's the integral around the circle of u dot dr, and that will be the integral of r times, we've got negative sine theta times u, so let's separate that out and then insert our expression for u, which is u naught, oops, u naught plus u naught x r cos theta plus u naught y r sine theta and then we'll have the, uh, the term that's proportional to cos theta right here. Uh, so we have cos theta plus cos theta um, and then the Taylor series expansion for v, which is v naught plus v naught x, etc. r cos theta plus v naught y r co or whoops r sine theta. And let's see, we close the square brackets. We add our uh, d theta somewhere in here. And that's the end of the integral. So the integral we have for the uh, circulation is an integral with respect to theta, and it's all the way around the circle. So the integral goes from uh, 0 to 2 pi. Where are we? There. The integral goes from 0 to 2 pi. And then it's got six terms in it. And I've collected up these six terms into one proportional to sine theta, to cos theta, to the product sine cos theta, sine squared theta, and cos squared theta. And we know how to integrate each of those functions from 0 to 2 pi. The integral of sine theta from 0 to 2 pi is just 0. The integral from cos theta all the way around the circle is also 0. The integral of sine theta cos theta, well that's just a half sine 2 theta. So that's like integrating two cycles and that comes out to be 0. But sine squared and cos squared do not integrate to 0. They're both pos positive definite and as a matter of fact sine squared theta integrated from 0 to 2 pi gives you pi. And cos squared theta integrated from 0 to 2 pi also gives you pi. So putting it all together, what do we get? We get this circulation is equal to pi r squared, taking out that common factor, pi r squared, and then we have a difference, vx, v0x minus u0y, and 
And if you remember, this is just the z component of the vorticity, or the curl of the velocity. It's pi r squared times omega z, where, where omega is curl cross u, as we discussed earlier. So what we have here is an example of Stokes' theorem. We've integrated around the circle, like that, around that circle, and uh, notice that what we get is pi r squared, which is the area of the circle, times the vorticity inside the circle. So again, uh, this is Stokes' theorem. It tells us that the circulation around a circle is equal to the area of the circle times the vorticity inside it. And you can actually generalize that to any closed curve in three-dimensional space. It doesn't have to be a circle flat on a plane.